What's going on, y'all? You tuned in to Tape Alert, hottest in the city. What's going on? It's your boy KP the Boys, aka the Staten Island Jada Kids. I'm here with No Rap Money Ox. What's going on, my guy? What's good? What's good, man? Happy to be here. Honored to be here. Tape Alert, we here. No Rap Money, the movement. Let's work. What's up? That's what's up. Now, right? Let's 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 start off right now with who is No Rap Money Ox, bro? Tell us oh, about yourself. Oh man, No Rap Money Ox. Is a hustler from Queens. Um, you know, I've been in the streets a long time, like many of us. I just came to tell my story from a perspective of a guy who is, you know, a hustler who's willed to always make it. You know, um, my story, you know, part of my story was I was incarcerated for almost nine years. And, you know, I just came home and hit the ground running, applying the hustle to so many different lanes and showing That's other true. kids how to get it, other people how to get it, feeding families. And, you know, just, man, I could touch so many lanes, man. Yeah, just, you yeah, know what I mean, know. from the street yeah, shit to the, le- to the legal that. shit. We're going to definitely touch on those many different lanes. But let's 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 get into, I wasn't growing up in Queens, bro. Where you really, like, you know, from from in Queens? I'm from Lawton. New York, that's uh, Queens, it's Merrick Boulevard. Um, man, growing up was, you know, normal kid shit, you know, fucking with your friends. You know, at a certain age, you know, I, I feel like we had a little too much time on our hands and, you know, it became more focusing on gang activity and just being disruptive and, you know. Counterproductive type. Yes, most definitely counterproductive to anything that we were trying to do in life that would possibly be positive. And, you know, of course, we grew up around hustlers, real legitimate street street millionaires, niggas who was on the corner, niggas who had things we didn't have, niggas who had things we wanted. Uh, and, you know, we just, you know, a lot of us gravitated to that, no matter what our mothers may have told us or anybody else may have told us, you know. At the end of the day, no matter what you come from or who you come from, you'll make your own decisions. Talk a little bit about the family like that made you come to this, I gotta I gotta make sure everybody's good type of energy. I mean, for real, that's kind of how my moms raised me. My moms was like uh, spoiled in her own right. So I don't know if it's the, uh, a completely good thing, but my mother kind of raised me to take care of her and everybody else I love. So I always put that on my back, you know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot I had a lot of people telling me that I need to focus on me and get me together because that's the best way to help people. But I am who I am, you know what I'm saying? I just had to learn to not help people, not even saying as much, but think about if that help they're asking for, or that help that they need may hurt me or my children or my immediate family, like, I can't, you know, I just had to learn to pick and choose better, man. And at the end of the day, right now, everything I'm doing is about growth, you know, growing myself, growing my children, growing, you know, my family, my immediate family, and, you know, and family don't mean even blood. Family just mean those who are here for me, the vision that we got in at hand, the vision that I see, and those who want to grow with me and want to, you know, do some different things. Yeah. You feel like you put your heart on your sleeve a little bit? I try not to wear my heart on my sleeve. For real, for real. I'm a poker face kind of guy. Like, you may be around me and never know what I'm thinking unless you truly, truly know me. But I also don't give to receive. I don't give to get. Nigga, what I do, I do, man. I don't... I'm one of those niggas, like, I'm confident to the point that no matter what I give you, it's, it's not going to take away from what I do. Yeah. I was built a certain way for a certain reason. Like, I'm different, man. So, what made you really get into rapping then? Like, you know, you, you was a hustler. You was really getting to it. So, at this point right now, it's, it's really one of those stories that you know, regular, regular street dude going into the rap game. So, it's just like, what really touched you differently? Be real with you, ain't nothing about me a regular street dude. The story can always come off as regular street dude because all of us go through similar things in life. Yeah. Some of us just don't voice them. Absolutely. But for real, I've loved music since I was nine years old, man. Mm-hmm. I wrote my first rap when I was nine years old. This is some shit I would really literally do 
without making money off of it. But I, just just because I love to create, I love to be in that mold. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But as far as like street dude rapping, like I'm past that. Like nigga, I, I'm yeah, I am a street dude, but I'm also intelligent. I'm I'm also putting on for uh you know for the, for the men that you know uplift their peoples. Cause for real, like. All, all of that shit, all that shit is cool, my nigga. But at the end of the day, if like, if we ain't doing nothing that's gonna set us up for the long run, this shit is frivolous. Absolutely. Like, I'm a, the the bag. All that shit is easy. Like, that, that's my gift. Like, I know how to go get some money. I know, I know how to create music. I know how to create opportunities. I know how to take something from nothing. I came home from the joint from almost doing nine years, and I'm flying past niggas who've been here, and that's not me. You know, being big headed about it, it's just that, you know, some people have the, the 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 vision, but some people don't have the will that it takes to see the vision through. And guess what? I'm one of them guys, if you got the vision, I'm one of them guys that could push you through it. Cause I'm a motivator. I'm one of them guys that's gonna make you see things in yourself that you don't see. That's, those are some of my gifts, man. So ain't nothing about me ever been regular. Yeah. So with 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 that being said, though, did that stretch? Cause I know you just touched down type shit. So did that stretch help you really come to that realization that you just gotta be more productive now? Like you I, just... I, I I've been productive. My it, it was kind of like what you said earlier. I gave my energy. To things and people that were, you know, counterproductive yeah. to what I was doing. So if anything, jail made me look at, you know, okay, this time, this time, I'm gonna focus more on what I'm my plan, and not deter away from it because somebody asked me to do this or asked me to do that. Like for instance, it's like what you said earlier, yo, who you give your help to? If anybody I gotta give my help to takes away from my plan. Sayonara. I see you later. But at the same time, at the same time, I always had that um that drive and that militance that it takes to complete things. So now, oh, let me say this real quick. This is another thing jail helped me realize. It helped me see who was really with me. Because a lot of niggas I took care of from niggas I... Some I grew up with, some I met along the way and provided ways for niggas to do things and eat, which, like I said, I ain't bragging about because that's who I am and, and, and going to jail ain't motherfucking cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, whatever I do, I'm going to take my lick and I had to do my time. Like I suggest you other niggas do, you know, niggas who want to go tell on everybody, I never do nothing that's going to well, my mistakes is going to make me tell on another motherfucker to, you know, get myself out the gym. At the end of the day, you know, I did what I did. I took my lick, as any man should. But it also helped me see, okay, who's here for me when I'm out of sight, out of mind? Who's, going, who's writing those letters? Who just wrote a, yo, I was thinking about you? Who, yo, is reaching out saying, yo, tell him, call me. Who who sent me money without me having to tell him? Or who sent me money when I did ask? Because niggas don't got to do shit for you. When you behind that wall, it's just you. That's when they say that's the real time that you see your real friends, bro. That's a fact. But with that being said, that's the crazy thing, bro. You just touched down. You 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 fresh out, not even fresh out, but how how long you been home now? Fourteen months to the day. Fourteen months and fourteen months to this day, bro. My son is already on the power one hundred five joint right now. Son, that freestyle was crazy, bro. Tell me about that. Like how, like if you could talk about that, how'd that even come about? I mean, before I left to go to prison, you know. To those who don't know, or to those who know, nigga, I had a wave like. I was, like I said, I had it moving. <clears throat> had some deals on the table. Didn't take them because of my arrogance. You know, a nigga offered me some bread, and I'm like, nigga, I got that in the house. You know, being cocky when I should have took the opportunity because at the end of the day, it's not to shortchange myself, but some of those opportunities 
would have introduced me to different mm, different opportunities. To exactly. Like you know. some people sometimes get so caught up in the money, which is of course we all gotta, you know, eat, mm. feed ourselves and elevate. But sometimes the money ain't everything. Sometimes connections and meeting certain people goes a long way. And that, that transpired. getting through the door. Yes. And that transpired. So now the moment I get home, what I do, I go record. I set so many things in, in play so that, you know, even with the moves my family made, like I had my studio still in the same place when I came home. Like, I was going for almost nine years, and my studio was waiting for me. All I had to do was come make a few updates, you know what I'm saying, get, get the newest computer, but everything was still waiting for me. So now I hit the ground running. I'm recording them. I'm putting shit out. I'm meeting people that I once met. They they see that I'm hungry. They see that I want it. Opportunities present itself. And when I had that opportunity, I brought other niggas with me. Um, when I went to, to a DJ Self show, who who definitely held me down because I, if anybody knows, I was DJ Self's first artist ever. Shout out you Self. You know what I'm saying? Shout out DJ Self. He's the first person that ever took me out the country. So with that, you know, it also showed me there's more to this shit. You know what I mean? Like it's so much more to life, period. And like when I got the opportunity, you know, I brought Jaffe and uh, General DZ with me. And, you know, I had a couple niggas question me why. Some question me why, wondering if, you know, on some hate and shit deep in their heart. And some niggas was wondering why, because they just was like, damn, that's not your initial initial crew. Yeah. But I had to explain niggas, like, this shit is bigger than me. Like, like you got to understand, like... It's a different type of vision right now. Yeah, and then you just... Like, it's so crazy, man. The New York mentality is... Niggas is so arrogant, so so caught up in their shit, right? Everybody's so worried about the next nigga surpassing them or whatever, whatever. But I also know that history repeats itself. And if you look, even with Queen's history... Who knows? We don't know if Nas and Mob Deep liked each other. We don't know if Mob Deep and CNN, Capone and Noriega liked each other. But they came, to, came together, did music, and created a brand where it was like, yo, like, damn, that, that sound. That sound is and, deep. and guess what? Everybody was good. Everybody was somehow getting a check. Somebody, yeah. Everybody was somehow moving as a movement. You watch it with the whole, when the Texas moving, when Mike Jones and them came out. Who knows if all them guys liked each other? It didn't matter. It was a movement. Yes. And guess what? And, 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 that, and that support within the movement, within the hometowns and, and state, made it a worldwide sound the same way you know you just it's You're building it's, to try to do right yeah now. and that's all it is yeah and 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 it's so crazy that you know we get caught up in our ways that we don't even see that you don't gotta like each other to know okay this nigga's talented this nigga's talented yo if i get him hot Shit, I may not be as hot one day, but this nigga gonna be hot and he pull me or he may not be hot i'll pull him but guess what we we keep that, we bring that money to our circle. We bring that money to our town. Mm -hmm. So besides Jaffe and General DZ, besides them, right? There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of artists coming out of Queens right now. Yo, there's a for real, for real, uh anybody who knows me, man, like I'm one of those guys out here that can really get people on records that would never do records with each other. I'm one of those guys that can go to like any hood and do a record video chop it up with niggas cuz you know I ain't no motherfucking dirt pad I'm in tune with it's like it's numerous people man like outside of my artist who is uh you know I got uh bigger too tall trelly you know what I'm saying like uh nigga uh day day off day day and I'm from Bricktown those niggas that we fuck with that's in our circle Nigga, I, I nigga, you know Kaya's my circle. Yeah. Kaya baby. Shout out Kaya baby. Like, that's 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 my circle. That's my team. Um, uh, 
I'm fucking with the nigga King Streets. I'm fucking with uh, Star Jella, uh, TGI Fly, of course, Jaffe and General DZ. I'm fucking with the uh, chick Swindy. I think she's dope. Um, who else offhand that I can think of? Yo, it's a lot of it's a lot of niggas, man. So no, please, please don't take no offense. Nah, it's, uh, it's, it's just a lot, you know. It's it's just the fact of you know. We, 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 we sit here and we ask a lot because I really don't know many Queens artists. Yeah, so man. So you putting me on right yeah, now. So yeah. I'm asking. But yo, it's a lot of them, man. Like, uh, it's a little young nigga named Turbo. Like, he drilling, but he working. But yo, it's so many niggas out here working that, and, and, and that's my thing. Like, I respect people that's consistent and persistent in their, in their grind. I know, I know that you know life happens. So one minute a nigga can't can't move how he will move, but this music shit really takes consistency and persistency. So if you ain't willing to do it, you like just wasting your time. Oh, shout out my nigga Pampy too. He be working hard. Pampy oh, from Shout Walter. out Pampy too. But that 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 on the radar freestyle with you and Kaya Baby, bro. What? How that even transpire right there? Um, man. It's the truth, if ever the truth, man. Uh, a girl that's part of my team, her name is Danielle, right? And she's she used to write and 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 work for some labels and some magazines. So you know she knew of somebody that was over there. We was going over there with Kaya, and you know they they was they was fucking with my music, so they was like, come on up. And uh, we got there. Let's just say I left my stamp. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like I said, yo, like it pays to never be a dirt bag. Nobody never got nothing bad to say about me. Hey. So boom. Pays to have pays to have good credit on your name, my man. Yeah. You hear so that? listen. So with that being said, man, thank you to Gabe. Thank you, John. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. That opened up a lot of doors for me because I've been rapping on other platforms, but On The Radar's platform is so known for doing like new artists, street artists that it made people who, you know, yeah, might have you know before. Yeah, it made people that might have seen an ad somewhere and skip past it, like, oh, hold on, On The Radar, because that's what they're known for yeah. and make you listen. Mm hmm. Is there any other freestyles that we gonna be able to see you on? Is yeah, hell yeah! I, like, like for instance, like I did a bunch of freestyles before on the radar. They ain't get no light until I did on the radar, cause now people was like, "Hold on, oh shit, this motherfucker can rap." You know what I'm saying? And then now I'm I'm doing more shit. Like I just did for Shooters Only, which is from the block, which is a Zay Productions, like. That's a massive joint too. See, like on the radar is is so huge, East Coast driven, whereas as uh, as a productions for shooters only from the block who are the same company, they're huge in the South, the Midwest, uh, up here as well. But now I'm now with that platform, I'm able to reach, you know, different people different type of audience yes type, yes and just branch out yeah exactly exactly you let me hear a sneak peek of the ep so what what what's, what what's the when the ep drop let's uh, talk about that. the ep drops february 20th you know what i'm saying hopefully you see this before and after this but it's out february 20th the dopest thing right now about this ep and the music business is i can just keep dropping music I'm going to drop it. It's going to be new to some, old to some, new to some, old to some. As long as they get to hear it, pick their records that they like, constantly listen to it, I'm going to learn what people love, and we're going to keep pumping. The new EP is called Winter Time Grind, which the whole concept even came from, like, you know the, you know how hustlers do, man. We grind all winter to pop out in the summer. But the Winter Time Grind has such a dope, soulful feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not doing what niggas is doing. Like, yeah, you know, I could rap my ass off, but my records are melodic. My records are, you know, something that 
that has that feel that make you really want to tune in. Nah, gangster, bro. Has anybody ever told you you give them a stack bundles feel, bro? Like, for yes, real? Uh, R.I.P. the stack. Because when I hear ashes to ashes now, bro, I like that's what that's the feel that you give me, bro. Yo, bro, like, I'm truly honored by that stack. Was not only, you know, a friend of mine, I was definitely a fan of his. And like, bro, I, I, I think I think my music consists of so many different contributions as far as like the artists that I was in tune with. Because you know, all of us are uh a, 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 a branch off of something that we love. Yes. It's just about it's just about taking something because you do it, you do it unnaturally. I mean, you do it naturally, far as, sorry. You do it naturally where you do certain things that you don't even know where that shit came about, but it came from something you was influenced by, someone you was influenced by. So, of course, I may have so many different things that made my style, but I embodied, embodied it in my own way and made it unique in my own way and came up with my own cadences and things of that. So, like... Hell yeah, I would say Stack was one of them niggas. Like I was, I was around him. I used to watch him, fucking battle rap niggas. I used to watch him go around and show niggas love out here, which a lot of these niggas don't do. Stack used to go hop on niggas' records for nothing. Just cause oh, I like it, your niggas is doing something. All right, fuck it, Queens. Did you did you know Chinks? Did you yes. rock with Chinks in a way? Let me tell you something. When Chinks came home off that bed, see, you got to remember, like, I knew, rest in peace, I knew Stack and Chinks and all them niggas from, I don't know the uh, the two Gs, dude. I remember they was Riot Squad, but I knew Stacks and Chinks because they used to come out here a lot. They're from Far Rockaway, but they used to come out this way a lot. And I remember when they was on the fucking uh, 134 All-Star tapes. I remember uh, when they was on Love De Niro tapes. I rem- like, like they been out here. The streets been fucking with them. So if you was outside, you, you ran into them niggas. They definitely was not ducking. They was out here making themselves very, uh, you know, I mean, sad. Both of them lost their lives, you know. Hopefully we gained some lessons from that as far as on how to move. But both of them niggas was genuine, good vibes type of niggas and humble and had no problem. Like, see, a lot of niggas you be around and niggas like, and, and I find that with me, like, I'll be around people and they'll want to say what's up to me, but they don't necessarily know how to approach me. Maybe my disposition doesn't give off friendly. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I will say is that I'm a real, I'm a real motherfucker. So if you come off like a real motherfucker, Nigga, I ain't, I ain't too arrogant to act crazy. I ain't gonna do none of that shit. Energy, I, you know that yeah, good energy. So you come, yo. I get motherfuckers that walk up to me, yo. I fuck with you, yo. Good looking. I appreciate that, and I'm, and I'm sincere about that shit. Because for real, even with the type of music that we doing, we need not to be, you know. There's a, not even just a support. It's just to like, it is, it, 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 it comes with the support, but it's more like, niggas gotta tap in. Would not be afraid to tap in because not being because being afraid to tap in make you like we got this thing where we might start feeling like a lame if we repost a nigga. Yo, nah, I ain't doing that. Nigga, that nigga might nigga might think I'm on his dick. Nah, nigga, like it ain't like that. Like any any nigga who even feel like that, he's a sucker. Like I'm asking for niggas to just be them, man. And whatever you feel, I'll. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Especially if you got good intentions. And, y'all, and, and you know what I mean? What you want to give off is pure, nigga, give it. Because that's what the fuck we need. That's that's why that's why New York in the space we in now. Facts. So, with that being said, right, what is no rap money, bro? Is no rap money like your name or does no rap money mean something? Like, is there a meaning behind that? No rap money is a crew. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? If anybody knows anything about my history, they know... What I come from, they, 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 without me saying but so much. Absolutely. So I came home and I created no rap money to separate the stigma of what I come from. 
Like the no rap money shit is is it's just a mindset. Really, like everybody out here is trying to live their best life and change their life. My best life and your best life may be different. Your best life may be you cool with getting you an apartment and and man. having a Nissan. But but hold on, you happy. Yeah, you content. It's about you being happy. Right? Because like I said, there's also a stigma that anytime a nigga want more than the average person, what is he gonna do to get it? He's a drug dealer. If I'm if I got too much jury on, I'm just a rapper. No nigga. Me, I'm a businessman. I'm a hustler. I come I I come from hustlers. Like my 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 plan was always to feed the family. To, to do some other shit, to live life in a different way, not just survive. So with or without music, I'm going to be great. With or without music, you're going to be great if you know that about yourself. So at the same time, the no rap money shit was really just like, huh, I'm doing it without the rap money. Absolutely. If yeah. I get some, great. Hey, great. And guess what? I ain't a dummy. You give me some of this money, it's going right back into some more of my investments. Now, do you do you have anybody really, really looking at you? You got any office? Do you plan on staying independent? You going label wise? Like what? What's the what's the move right now? You fishing? My move you... is to put my head down, work, look up, and be amazed. Mm-hmm. That's it. Whoever comes along with the right situation and the right intentions to take the brand, the movement to the next level, these artists that I got to the next level, with everything I'm doing to the next level, let's get some money. I have no bias. It's just about the right situations that's going to make all of us some money, feed all of our families, and leave a legacy. What, what, what songs you got out with your artists right now? So the people, just in, just in case the people want to tune in, you know. The Home Confinement album is out right now. And that has two of the artists on there, which is our Too Tall and Bigger. Too Tall is on a uh, song called Who the Fuck on Check Us, and Bigger is on a song called uh, Stronger. Yeah, shout out, and, shout out that song, Stronger. Go tap into that video on YouTube. That's fire yes, right there. Yes. And the new, the new project that drops February 20th, all the different artists are on there. And like I said, I promise you, Look in my face and uh, and see how sincere I am. You will not be let down when you listen to that project. That project feels good. I got a sneak peek of it, y'all. Just listen. It, 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 it feels real truly music good. Right like balls is back. Balls is back, but overall making records is back. Creating vibes is back. Touching touching things that touching things and subjects that everybody may not want to touch because they may feel uncool. I don't do that, bro. I wake up. Whatever I feel is what I record because I got people that really want this music shit, but I got to guide them in right, and I want to make sure that they get, like I said, everything they got coming to them in the in the right way. I want to, I want, I want to help them make the best transition possible. But of course, man, as far as entertainment, yes, movies, you know, I'm creating a docu-series about my life. You know what I'm saying? Where we're going to be doing the video and the mini movies to records. And this, like, I'm going to be telling the whole story, but also I'm doing this shit where I'm like teaching kids financial awareness. That's, that's, dope. I'm, I'm teaching, you know, trading. Like, I learned how to trade when I was in prison. I trade Forex for a living, too. So, like I said, like, I'm a hustle all around the board, man. Like, <laughs> shout out Forex. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let. I tell you, some people see me and they see my demeanor, and you know, I, I, I'm not gonna say I'm the I give off the most welcoming face, cause you know, the the being in the street and prison has definitely made me wary about people, cause I know the 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 the, the world is a is an evil fucking place, but at the same time, those who, are, who come off sincere, who are sincere, and I see it in you, man, like. You give me the love, I'm going to give it back. And as far as these kids out here, they hearts are still pure. So I'm trying to give it to them now. I think I told you this earlier off camera, but I'll share this with people. You have people in life that's going to help you 
get out the gutter when your head is right here. You're going to have people that's going to help you when you're right here. You're going to have people that's going to help you when you're right here or when you're all the way out. I take that shit with a grain of salt. Whoever decides to help me, one thing you got to know is, and they're going to know because it's my character that's going to speak for itself, I'll never forget what a nigga do for me. I'm never too big-headed to, you know, act like motherfuckers didn't help me. But if they don't, they don't. My, my vibe is put my head down, work hard. Outwork these niggas, out, out, uh, out-talent these niggas, whatever. I came to do what I came to do. If they come, if they come to get with it, they see it, whatever. However it comes, it comes. If we if we build a relationship, or our shit is strictly business, whatever. It's, just, it's all about feeding the fam. Mm-hmm. So when you when you say that, that's that's the that's the perfect thing. It is what it is. Whatever is whatever. I feel like there's a lot of artists right there that watch you and that seen you come up and seen your story and can feel that they can use what you say as a real God to really push themselves to the next level. So picture you seeing a young artist right now, just what would you say to them? What motivational words could you give to an artist that just feels like I, I need to hear something to just push me to do more? I gotta get this hustle on. I gotta, I gotta get in the booth. I gotta do all of that. Like you just touched down fourteen months, so I'm gonna tell you some advice. And this is this may come off harsh. The nigga told me this a long time ago. Nobody gives a fuck about your feelings in this in this industry. So save your feelings, save the the excuses. Nobody gives a fuck. You find a way to make yourself of value. That's it. If you can't find a way to make yourself a value, you can get a lot, a lot of no's, or somebody's gonna come and use you because they see your value and they're gonna figure out a way to use it to make themselves money. But nobody gives a fuck about your excuses or your feelings. Because it's at a point where 85 percent 95 probably of these niggas out here is in, in the mode of self-preservation and their friends are people that have made themselves of use so that's my advice man be persistent consistent and make yourself of use value how can the people reach you bro just before before I get into my next question how can the people reach you the people can reach me at any social media from Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. It's, if they got them, my team created them. It's always going to be no rat money ox. Email me, DM me. No, I don't do all my social media, so don't be mad if I don't get right, right back. Somebody's going to see it. And it, it, I mean, I'm talking about even. I'm talking about from Spotify, Apple, Tidal, uh, any service, any streaming service, I'm there. No Rap Money Ox. N-O-R-A-P-M-O-N-E-Y-O-X. No Rap Money Ox. No Rap Money is a label. No Rap Money is a movement. No Rap Money is a lifestyle. I'm just a representative, I'm just a representative of it. You know what I mean? Ox is, stands for observing experience, and I done did it. I done did some of it all. So, like I said, tune in. I promise you will not, you will not be disappointed. I worked too hard to let you take me out my spot. I ain't looking back. I'd rather view you from the mountaintops. You thought I wouldn't get far. All I'm going to say is Allahu Akbar. Got to keep it humble. Nothing humble about my moves. You know it's a level up in everything that I do. It's about how we going to eat, not what we can prove. And everybody can't come. Somebody got to watch us chew. But from a distance, see, I ain't scary, but I know these niggas vicious. It ain't well wishes. They want to hurt me, but we the real wolves. And when we get bloodthirsty, you niggas look delicious. No, no rap, rap money, money ox, ox, the whole no rap money movement, all of the artists, everybody that's behind what we doing. Stay tuned. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> stream it, baby. Please stream it. 
The videos is out. The numbers is doing great. Stream it. Find out what everybody else see, man. Yeah. Find out what everybody, why everybody else love it. Let's work. Let's yeah. work. Yeah. Tape alert. Thank you. Salute for y'all coming through. One. Tape alert on the beat.